Good day, this is Professor Will, CPMG PhD. And today's Wednesday, January 19th, 2022. It is 9.05 and 11 seconds, p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Today's research, antifreeze cream. So let's hop to it here. Antifreeze cream prevents frostbite injuries to skin. Study suggests, date January 19th, 2022. Source, American Chemical Society. The skiers, hikers, soldiers, and other exposed to extreme cold temperatures can experience frostbite, a painful injury that occurs when ice crystals form in the skin. Many extreme cold areas are also remote, and delays in frostbite treatment can result in severe wounds, scarring, and even limb amputation. Now, researchers have developed a cream that prevents frostbite injuries in mice when applied to the skin 15 minutes before severe cold exposure. And frostbite not only kills skin cells, but can also harm deeper tissues, like muscle and bone, sometimes causing secondary infections and permanent nerve damage. Common therapies such as rapid rewarming of the affected limb aim to reverse tissue freezing, but by the time of treatment, many cells have already died. Recently, scientists have developed frostbite prevention strategies, such as electric heaters, sewn into clothing, or transgenic antifreeze proteins, but such approaches are often costly, impractical, or have safety concerns. Therefore, researchers wanted to test the frostbite prevention properties of a combination of synthetic molecules commonly used in the laboratory to cryopreserve cells. Dimethyl sulfoxide keeps ice crystals from forming inside cells, whereas poly vinyl alcohol prevents ice crystals in the spaces between cells, which can damage membranes. The researchers first tested the ability of different amounts of dimethyl sulfoxide and polyvinyl alcohol alone or in combination to prevent the death of cultured cells in a dish that were exposed to a freezing temperature. They found that 2% dimethyl sulfoxide combined with 1 decimal 6 milligram milliliter polyvinyl alcohol yielded the highest cell survival, about 80%, while protecting the cell membrane and cytoskeleton. And this combination, which the researchers called SYN, FAP also allowed cells to divide and express proteins more normally after cold stress. And then the team mixed SYN, FAP with commercial aloe vera cream and applied it to the skin of mites 15 minutes before a cold challenge. The cream reduced frostbite wound signs, tissue damage, and inflammation, and sped healing compared with no treatment. The cream did not prevent frostbite when applied 30 minutes or before the cold challenge. However, multiple applications did not damage skin. The effects of the antifreeze cream in people and how frequently it needs to be reapplied must be determined, the researchers say. Good day, this is Professor Will, CBMD, PhD, on microbiology, bioinformatics, and pathophysiology. This video was created for educational purposes only. Hope you enjoyed listening. Until next time, have a great day.